from 48, Analyzing Measures of Central Tendency. Let's look at some vocabulary words. We have measure of central tendency. It just means the value that describes the center of a data set. And we can describe the measure of, this, of these central tendencies with a couple other vocabulary words. So the measures of central tendencies include mean, which is just the sum of all the values in a data set divided by the number of data values. The median, the middle number in a set of numbers when you arrange them in order from smallest to largest. We have mode, which is the value or values that appear the most. And then we have the range, the set of, is it the range of the set of data, just the difference between the largest number and the smallest number. And then we have an outlier, which is the data value that is much greater or much less than the rest of the data set. So it stands out compared to all the other ones. We're going to be looking at using each of these terms today. So first, finding the mean, median, and mode. First thing we're going to do is put these in order from smallest to largest. So I'm going to write these down. So the smallest number is 33. Then we have another 33. Then we have a 34. Then we have a 35. A 35. Another 35. 36. Another 36. And then a 38. And our first step that we're going to be doing is just Find the mean, we need to add them all up and then divide by the number of data values. So 33 plus 33 plus 34 plus 35 plus 35 plus 35 plus 36 plus 36 plus 38. That gives us 315. And then we need to divide that by, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Divide this by 9. And we get an answer of 35. So the mean, the average, is 35. Now to find the median, the median is the middle number when you put them in order from smallest to largest. So that's why I put them in order from smallest to largest first. So since we have nine numbers, we know that the middle number is going to be the median. So that's going to be our fifth number. So one, two, three, four, five. This is our median. So the median would be 35. And then the mode, the number that appears most often. So the number that appears most often is 35 because the, that appears three times. The next closest is 36 and 33. So our mean, median, and mode for this one is all 35. But that won't always be the case. Let's look at another example. Here we have a couple other data sets, so let's put these in order from smallest to largest. So the smallest one is 15. Next one is 21. Then we have 25. Then we have another 25. Then we have a 28. Then we have a 30. We have a 33, 38, and a 46. Now let's find the mean, the average. So let's add them all up. So 15 plus 21 plus 25 plus 25 plus 28 plus 30 plus 33 plus 38 plus 46. That gives us a total of 261. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 numbers. So we divide that by 9. And we get 29. So the average the mean is 29. The median, the middle number. So again, we have 9 numbers. We go through the fifth number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That gives us 28. And then the mode, the number that appears the most often. 
The only one that appears most often is 25 because we got two of them. So 25 would be our mode. Next example, we're going to be comparing data sets. So it says, does the north or the south have a greater range of points over the 2006 regular season? So to find the range again, we are just going to be subtracting the greatest number and the smallest number in each in each team. So let's look at the north. The largest number we see in the north would be 427. So the north has 427 as the largest number and the smallest number would be looks to be 211. 427 minus 211 gives us 216. So that's the biggest difference we have for that one. Now the south. The largest number in the south, we would have 492. And we're going to subtract smallest number and the smallest number that we have would be 168. So if we take those two numbers 492 minus 168 we get an answer of 324. So which one has the greater range? We would have to say that the south has the greater range. Next example, analyzing the effects of an outlier. Remember, an outlier is just those, those values that are too big or too small compared to all the other data values. So we want to find out how does that impact the measures of central tendencies. So the following data show the high temperature in degrees Fahrenheit for the first 15 days in July of 2007 for Seattle, Washington. We want to identify any outliers in the data set. So if we look at any of those, does there, is there one number that stands out? And we can see that this 98, this 98 stands out. All the other ones are in the 80s or upper 70s. And that one is close to the 100. So we would say 98 is the outlier. So we want to find the mean, median, and mode with and then without the outlier. So this is with the outlier, this would be without, and we want to find the mean, we want to find the median, and we want to find the mode. Well, first off, let's put these numbers in order from smallest to largest. So our smallest number would be 75, then we have 76, then we have 78, we have another 78, we have another 78, we have a 79, we have a 81, we have another 81, another 81, another 81, another 81, we have an 84, we have an 86, 89, and then 98. So let's find the mean, so let's add them all up, so 75 plus 76 plus 78 plus 78 plus 78 plus 79 plus 81 plus 81, plus 81, plus 81, plus 81, so that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 81s, plus 84, plus 84, plus 86, plus 89, 
plus 98. That gives us 1,226. And we got one, two. So for the first 15 days, so we would have 15 numbers there. So divide that by 15. We would have the mean being 81.7. And then 73 repeating. The median is the middle number. So if we have 15, 15, we look at the, if it was 14, the middle number was seven. So 15, the middle number has to be eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 81 would be the median. And then the mode, the number that appears most often would be 81. Now, if we took the 98 out, so I'm gonna take, I had 1,226 with all of them. If I take the 98 out, so I subtract 98 from it, I have 1,128 as my total. Divide that by, now I only have 14 numbers. That will give me a mean of 80.57. The median, the middle number, if we take this 98 out, means I have 14 numbers, so I have to look at the 6th and 7th numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this would be our middle 2. So that middle between 79 and 81, because I have two middle numbers, I add them together. So 79 plus 81 gives us 160, divided by two gives us our 80, so the median would be 80. And then the mode, the number that appears most often is 81. So, then, did the outlier have any effect? It did not affect the mode. It affected the median a little bit, because now the median's a little bit lower. And it affected the mean, the average. The average is a little bit lower as well. So, but the mode, it won't affect the mode. It can affect the, the mean and median. And the last question here. Is the statement in the advertisement true? So in the statement it says, super grow watermelons have an average weight of over eight pounds. Brand X fertilizer watermelons have an average weight of under seven pounds. So we wanna to check to see if that is true. So the grown super grow Fertilizer. We put, add those up. Let's do 10 plus 8 plus 8 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 7 plus 5 plus 20 gives us 73 and we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 numbers. Divide by 9 gives us 8.1. Repeating. The median, so this one was 8.1. So it says a super grow watermelon have an average weight of over eight pounds. Well, it's over eight pounds because it's 0.1. So yes, that one is true. The next one, brand X has under seven. So six plus seven plus six plus five plus seven plus nine plus seven plus five plus seven gives us 59 divided by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, divide that by nine. This has 6.5 repeating. So yes, it does under seven pounds. So is the statement true? Yes, it's true. Does the statement accurately describe the data? So we found the mean of both of them median, the middle number, if we put them in order, we have, have, we have nine. So I'm just going to cross off the smallest and the largest. So smallest, largest, smallest, largest, smallest, largest, smallest, largest. The median is seven. We do the same thing here. We would have smallest, largest, we do a different color. So smallest, largest, smallest, largest, smallest, 
largest, smallest, largest. We would have seven here. And then the mode, we'll erase this so you can see the numbers. The numbers that appear most often in the, the super grow, we would say is eight because it has two of them in there. And then the one in here, the bottom one, we would say it would be seven. But does the statement accurately describe the data set? So the average is over, over eight. We would say yes, because if you look at the numbers here, the average is over eight. The median is, the middle number is seven. So that means you've got numbers greater than seven numbers less than seven and the number that appears the most is eight so yes that would be correct there and uh, the brand x says that the average is under seven so if the average or the mean is 6.5 and the median the middle number is seven that means you have a little more than seven a little more under seven the mode seven the one that appears most often that is true so we would say yes the statement accurately describes the data. So that is our lesson on analyzing measures of central tendency.